Tona Rose, and we are doing another way back playback. This is Conquest of the Longbow, part three. One and two should be up if you're seeing this. So if you haven't seen those, feel free to check those out first or just jump right in with us now. So when we last left off, we had just saved the King's own jester. And when we got back to camp, we started talking to the Merry Men about how we had to save the widow's three sons. They're to hang in the morning. So that's our focus this time. We need to do what we can to save them. Let's get started and see what we can do. So here we are back at camp uh, in our man cave. Let's go check out what the boys have to say. You're looking thoughtful. Will says he's just gotten word that Hal, Hob, and Dickon will hang at sunset today. Hob and me grew up together. He's like one of my own brothers. Much, I swear I'll do all I can to save them. Correct. So let's head to the Overlook? Outlook? I'll never remember. See if we can grab some garb to get us into Nottingham. the day to you, brother. The thank you. Uh, did you want something? What brings you along Waddling Street? Um, I'm not really supposed to discuss it with strangers, but no one would miss you for quite some time if you didn't return. Oh, mercy, don't hurt me. I have done nothing but talk to you. There's no need to panic. Yet. Let's lay some hands on him. Don't hurt me, I beg you, don't hurt me. Don't be a fool, I scarcely touched you. You've the spine of an earthworm. I have nothing to please an outlaw, neither gold nor silver, have mercy. Come now, there's no need for such fear. There, there isn't. I may go my way. Nay, you have something I desire greatly, your robe. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is that a problem? Oh nay, whatever you want, the robe is yours if you just spare me. That's better. A visit to my camp will refresh you. You can learn the value of good, honest labor. Have mercy. And you get some smacks from Tuck. Scandalous. Have mercy. Oh, good friar. How can you consort with these thieves and rogues? Take me to town and the abbot will reward you well. Keep chopping or I'll reward you with the flat of my blade again. Robin, he looks so short. Robin, while you make a fine figure of a monk in that robe. Bless you, my son. Take good care of our guest. I'm off to Waddling Street. When he's finished with this, I'll take him out to gather more firewood to chop. He'll know the true meaning of honest work when I'm done with him. Have mercy. Have mercy. make sure that we saw him getting spanked. Okay. Let us go to Nottingham. Sure. Let's have a chat. Good sir, please allow me to administer to the poor souls in your dungeon. They're only outlaws. Are they not lost sheep? Surely you would not send them to their deaths unshriven. It's not for me to say I have orders. No one is to be admitted. Let's do a little bribery group. My son, I cannot bear the thought that any man, even those villainous outlaws the sheriff plans to hang, should go to his death unshriven. Will this move you to compassion so that I may go to the dungeon and administer it to them? 
I'm deeply moved, brother. Your plea has touched me. Roger, Giles. My queen, my purse. Nah. Escort this monk to the dungeon and let him speak to the prisoners, but make it quick. This monk is here to give the outlaws their final blessing. You'll have to do it through the trap door. At least allow me to hear their sins alone. You can wait for me upstairs. Sorry, can't leave you alone in here. Get on with it. My sons, I have come to pray for your wicked souls. Lift up thine eyes and attend to me. A pox on you, monk. But that's... A hooded man! Aye, we see you now, brother, and with glad eyes. What would you say to us? That salvation may yet be yours if you will follow my path. Whatever, Wherever you lead us, brother, we will follow, if God wills. Aye, if God wills, for it is my duty to lead you from the darkness into the light, and I shall not fail in my duty, even should the devil himself block my path. That's enough. Shrieve their souls and be done with it. Have faith, my sons. Domine, digere, nos. Come with me before the sheriff comes along and has our hides for letting you in at all. Okay. Let us go to St. Mary's. You guys ready? Love it. Good day, brother. Remember to bar the door once you're inside. Of course, brother. Okay, let's look a little bit because I don't quite remember what I'm doing. Nothing of interest. A laundry room. Yeah, let's go there. Let's see what's in the laundry room. Huh. There appear to be three robes. Good, they're mostly dry. Nothing worse to carry around than wet wool. Fair. Anything else in here? <laughs> All right, I think that is it. Let us go back out. Okay. See what we can see with the abbot. This bloody puzzle. This bloody puzzle box is driving me mad, and I'm down to my last mug of ale. Trot over to the pub and get me more of the, his most potent brew. Forgive my ignorance, but why don't you simply break open the box? Because it is too well made. That's why. And besides, it's supposed to contain a magic ring, a perfect ruby set in flames made of gold, and I'll not take any chances on damaging it. Not that it's any of your business. Be on your way. Shall I take the empty cast with me, your grace? Pheh, who cares? For what that innkeeper charges me, he can afford to lose a few casks. But make sure you bring back his best ale, none of that poisonous, scrumping cider stuff. Pardon me, but how shall I pay for it? I notice you have your purse. Enough addle padded questions. He'll boo me as he always does. Now be off with you. We're going to grab the cast because that makes him happy. Him being the innkeeper. Did anyone else get um, glass onion vibes from the... Why can't you just hammer open the box? In front of me lies the chapel, behind me the unfinished nave. I don't, I don't think there's anything to do with this right now, but I think it um, just preps us better when we need it later. The maze. Keep that in mind, folks. Okay. Let 
let's step out of the abbey so that we can get to the map again. And then we'll head straight to the pub. Where I think we might be able to play our first game of Nine Dance Morris. I don't remember, but I, I think. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna save. Let's have a chat with this dude. You have the look of a man who's been to foreign lands. Aye, been to the Holy Land, saw Jerusalem, I did. Killed heathens and watched many a Christian die in the ground run red with blood. Served with King Richard until he made peace with Saladin and sent us packing home. But them days is done. If you have a mind for a game of nine men's Morris, I'm willing to lighten your purse. I'll consider it. think we do this? Mind if I sit here? If you mind to play Morris, sit. If not, go elsewhere. I'll think upon it. Okay. This here chunk of amethyst got a magic in it, it does. So if you have a mind to win it, bring out your money. Sure. I don't, I don't know. Here's my bet then. Glad to meet a monk which knows how to open his purse. I'll be generous and let you go first, monk. Save. Okay. Um. Oh, right, I have to move them. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I'm doing this and I'm not even explaining what I'm doing. So basically you have to make a rose of three. Um, the easiest way to do this is to find basically a, a way to get yourself into three and then just move it back and forth. It, it's not very gentlemanly, but it gets the job done. And that's all we're really worried about right now. We absolutely need that amethyst. It makes a huge difference to the story if we don't get it. So win at all costs, save, figure it out. Um, there's lots of tutorials online about Nine Minutes Morris as well. There's a lot more to it and it's, it's a really cool, game that I've actually played in, in life as well. It's it's a fun, it's a fun little thing. It's it's like tic-tac-toe chess y. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> What's the magic you claim it has? No claim, but the solemn truth, I swear by the cross. Put this into your mug or goblet and you can't get drunk, no matter how much ale or wine you drink. But surely you could have found a use for this yourself. Me? What do I be wanting with a spell that keeps me sober? Don't be a fool. But be warned, you can only use it once. And what then? It dissolves as what? A heathen sorcerer put a spell on it, and that's all I know. Cool. Uh, how do we get up? So I think, yeah, there it is. Cool. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay. We're just going to talk to the barkeep here. You don't look familiar. You must be new to the order. Aye, that I am. Would your hospitality to a newcomer extend to a sample of your brew? It might, if your miserly abbot bothered to pay his bill. What's more, he never sends back the casks, so I'm of no temper to be generous. Go ask him for free ale. Here's a cask, my friend. Oh, wait, come back. There you go. I believe this empty cask belongs to you. Well, well, must appreciate it, brother. 
You're the only monk who's bothered to do me this service. Here's a new cast. Did the abbot send payment? Um, nay, he... Never mind. You were kind enough to bring the cask, but remind him that the bill is overdue. I shall, gladly. If you're in a hurry to get back, signal me from the cellar door and I'll let you in so that you can go back the short way. What sort of signal? Like you're trying to open it. That'll be enough. Cool. So we have a full cask of ale, I think. Yes. And now let's go back the secret way. Why not? Since you brought me the cask, I'll let you go back the short way. But tell the abbot it's the last time if he doesn't pay up on his bill. Um, one of these. Is the right one. And I can't remember which. Yep, me too. There we go. And we crawl inside. The tunnel from the cast leaks up into this larger tunnel, which forks in two directions. It climbs steeply upwards, probably somewhere into the castle atop this bluff. It seems to go straight until it vanishes into darkness. By my reckoning, it must run to the east beneath the streets of Nottingham Town itself. Um, our map isn't here. I was going to say, if you look at the map, but east is where we need to go. It's the back of the tapestry. Do you have my ale? Aye, your grace. Well, don't stand there like a dolt. Bring it over at once. Of course, your grace. You're slow, but at least you did the task. I have a mind to put this ale to the test. Have a seat and drink with me, brother. Sure. Then be seated and we'll see how your stomach fares against mine. Brother Bruce, is that you? Aye, master. Good. Take this infernal box to my room and leave my door unlocked. I'll be having a nap soon. And now let's fill our mugs. Okay. There is a bit of timing to this, I think. an exceptionally fine tapestry, Your Grace, but is that a flaw I see in the center? What flaw? I don't see a flaw. Must be something wrong with your eyes. I believe you're right. Have another mug. Have another mug. You have another mug. Have another mug. Yeah. We should toast to long life for King Richard. Aye, long may he languish in a foreign prison. Your certain Prince John will succeed in preventing the King's ransom from being paid. Brother, he's as cunning as a boggard rat, our prince is. The Queen still needs over five... <laughs> the Queen still needs over 50,000 marks, and the Prince has made sure it eludes her grasp. Have another mug. I don't know, talk to me more. Yeah. 50,000 marks is no small sum. He must guard it well. Aye, and who do you think he trusts to guard it for him? She's not the sheriff of me. He sends it to me. When? Soon. I mean, soon. If I were the prince, I'd never dare to send such a treasure through Sherwood Forest. What of that arch outlaw, Robin Hood? Fee on Robin Hood. Treasure will be well guarded by the Baron Lafair and his shh men. Have another mug. 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 Have another mug.
another mug. Drink. Still, you could send the Baron Lafaire as a warning about the outlaws. Has he left for Nottingham yet? Nay, not yet. You sure you are nosy, nosy for a monk? Don't look much like a monk, neither. Look more like an outlaw yourself. Another mug, your grace. And he's down. By my trosh, my trosh, my bleh, bleh, bleh. Thank the virgin for that amethyst. This is truly strong ale. I dare say the abbot will not wake for a good many hours. I'm gonna take the cask. Uh, yep. Yep. And then we're gonna get out of here. And we're gonna go get that puzzle box. Ah, the door is unlocked and swings open easily, and inside I see what can only be the abbot's room. Good walk. The abbot has spared himself no luxury, I see. There's one other door off to the left of his bed curtain. I see no other way to escape except the way I entered. I wonder where that monk would have put the puzzle box that the abbot was working on. We're gonna do a wee bit of sniffing. <sighs> Only because I think there's something funny in here. Yeah, delicate frilly things for ladies. Interesting, but of no use to me. Although it leaves me to wonder to what use the abbot puts them. Lean over here. It's filled with vestments. What about pillows? People put things under pillows, right? No. What about that one? No. What about this one? Da 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 da. Cool. Let's go ahead and put that back. Good, good, good. Okay, so we have our magic puzzle box. This wooden box is cleverly made. It is locked with no lock I can see. Uh -huh. It's best I keep this hidden until I'm in a safer place. So I'm going out. I think that's everything we can manage for right now. Let's go back to the pub and figure out where that other fork in the passage goes. Don't suppose you come back to pay the abbot's bill. If God's wills it, it will be done. I guess of much. How much is the bill? 12 pennies I'll likely never see. Uh, he did just steal from the abbot. So many pennies. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's all this? It's to pay the abbot's bill in full, my friend. I'm much obliged to you, brother. You're the only worthwhile monk I've ever met from the abbey. No offense. None taken. Um. Okay. Maybe we should ask him. Yeah, yeah. Go oh, why? Uh, can we go look at that? Okay. Well, let's give you the cask first. I brought back another empty cask. You are a good fellow. Do you want to? Do you want a filled one to replace it? Nay, not this time. I'm just trying to be friendly. Here you go, brother, and be careful no one sees you visiting the secret way. So 
let's go the other direction. It's a little hole we're gonna put our eye up into. Good pace in there, sir. Will you stop that confounded pacing? I'm bored. Sneak us up a bucket of ale from the pub. That'll keep you busy. I've got such a thirst, I'd throttle me own mother for a mug right now. Give me some money then. Ahem, well. If you could pay for it this time. I knew it. You lost it all to old Harry playing nine men's Morris, didn't you? Ah, uh, come on, Roger. Be a good lad. I haven't enough. We only need four pennies. I've got two farthings and that's it. He won't fill the bucket for less than four pennies. Sorry, that's all I've got. Hire yourself up the stairs and tell Jack I need a loan. Why should I? Go on. I guess if I don't have an ale before night is out, you'll never hear the end of it. Very well, if it'll improve your foul temper. Wait, I already owe Jack money. Let's go give them some moolah. One, two, no, oh, one, two, three, one. Run, 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 run. Oh, do we have to hand the door? Oh God, run. I thought we were gonna get caught. Roger, did you leave this money here? Not me, if you mean to pretend you just found it. I did just find it. It's still not enough. Ah, uh, well, I've suddenly remembered that I have a couple of pennies in my boot after all. You lying, miserly hound. Never mind that. Stay here while I fetch the ale. I'll never taste a drop if you fetch it. We'll both go. Good plan. Get him out. Shh, lads, I'm back. Bless me, Robin. Bless my heart nearly stopped when I realized it was you in that robe. And I almost cried out your name. Lower the ladder. There's none here. They must have it stored elsewhere, and I dare not leave this room. Then we're still trapped in this pit? Have faith. I'll find a way. Yes, strong, strong silk for the belts. Yes, that's what I want them to do. The monk's robes would be a great help once I get the lads out of this pit, but the belts! Get ready, lads. I'm going to make a make you a rope out of monk's belts. Dick and you next. You go next, Hop. You get up that rope right now or I'll box your ears till they bleed. It's very fast. Quickly, while Hob climbs, take these robes into the tunnels and put them on. Look at us all. So cute. Let's head back to the pub. Come on, lads. There's no one in the cellar, though I hear some music. Hal, go on through, but if you sense anyone, I'll be careful, don't worry. What's all the noise, Hal? the sheriff with his men and some wenches. He's celebrating having three outlaws to hang. Do they look as though they've had plenty to drink? Aye, they're well into their cups. Good. 
That's twice the headache the sheriff will have when he finds you gone. But what should we do? Shall we try to get past them as monks? You betcha. Aye, we must dare it. The pub's outside the town walls and closer to the forest. If he's drunk enough, the sheriff should pay little heed to some monks. Listen well, you three will go first. Keep your heads down and don't hurry too much. Don't stop to wait for me, no matter what happens. Hal, you lead the way. Ooh! Look at this lady showing her knees. Ooh. See, I told you, scandal. Scandal. Blether, bless me. <gasps> My son, you are drunk. I show away am. Give me a blessing. I need to talk. There we go. Very well. May God give you all that you deserve, and may I live to see it. Amen. What a great blessing. Best I ever <gasps> heard. Here's a penny. Why, thank you, my son. Keep going and keep your eyes down. If we can reach the forest unnoticed, we'll be safe. There we go. We got him back. Sheep's super happy, too. I made a fine monk. You should have seen us. I thought I must laugh or die when the sheriff begged Robin for a blessing. Well, I didn't like being a monk, not for a minute. As soon as we reached the forest, I tore off that robe. You're also brave. I can hardly believe you're here. It seems a miracle. May the blessed lady guard you and keep you safe forever, Robin Hood. But words aren't enough. Take this gift. The joy upon your face is payment enough. I will not be denied. This comes from the time when I was the guardian of this forest, even as Marion is now. Mother, you, a green priestess, before you were born, I danced this spiral dance and nurtured the spirit of the forest. Step forward, Robin. This golden net is my gift. Use it well, and it will lead you to wisdom. Use it wisely, and the forest itself will protect you. Now please, take my sons with you and let them serve you. I fear they're outlaws from this day on. I'll do as you bid. Thank you for all these precious gifts you bestow upon me. Come on, lads. Hal, Hob, and Dickon bade their mother farewell and set about making a place for themselves in the camp. I joined my men for a joyous celebration. May you get all you deserve, and may I live to see it. Robin, you've a wicked wit. This will make one of the finest tales I've ever told. If the sheriff but knew what it is, I think he deserves. I think he knows. He'll be cursing you roundly tonight when the truth seeps into his drunken skull. Let him curse and rage. Hal, Hob, and Dickon are beyond his reach, and I'm well content with this day's work. And I'm as proud as a man can be to call Robin Hood my leader. Let us toast him, men. A hood, a hood, a Robin Hood. I always thought that was weird. Okay. Um, let's do one more day and see where, we, where we're at. Okay, so... Oh, look, we've got our little collection of robes happening now. Okay, we have a bunch of things we need to do. Um, last game, we collected the scroll uh, that Marion needs as proof, further proof of our good, good service. We have this crazy gold net. Um, we have the emeralds that she gave us from before and this crazy puzzle box, which we still need to figure out. I think we've looked at this. But let's, yeah, okay, so that's the hand scroll, and this is the uh, verses. Oh, this is the, this is how we figure out the puzzle box, I think. Okay, sorry, I'm going to write this down as we go. True, ooh. Moon. Ada. Dare. Adho, Kal, Akta, Rush. If you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, each line has some something said, and those are, I think, Latin or various trees. So the trees argued with the key is this, every tree is first among trees, and first they are in the order spoken. Let's 
Side. Yay! The magnificent ring with a fiery ruby set in flames of gold. I'll slip the ring into my pouch. Good. Now I can dispense with carrying this clumsy box around. I'll hide it for now and give it to Alan after supper tonight. He'll enjoy studying it. Cool. Completely forgot that that's how we did that. Um, I I don't I don't know why I thought there was more to it than that. But huzzah! Off we go. Let's uh, let's find Marion. That'll be a fun little task for us. No willows. Yeah. Put down our weapons. Good, good. It is good to see you safe, Robin. How do you know when I seek you here? It's most uncanny. The willows gather messages from me from all parts of the forest. I know you've been to the monastery. Did the willows tell you of folk? The king's fool? What of him? I rescued him from torture at the hands of the monks. Oh, Robin, I'm very fond of Folk. Was he badly hurt? I found him before this strap... Strapado? Had worked much damage. He's gone to the queen. I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you for saving him. To see your smile, I would brave a hundred torture chambers. Don't say that. Let us speak only of good news and future plans. I think he was trying to speak of future plans. Okay, so you need this. You are so clever. Now I have a gift of great importance to bestow upon you. A kiss? Robin, cease being a rogue for a, but a moment and watch closely. Your life and all of our plans will depend upon knowing what I will now show you. So this is the alphabet. Yay. Um, in the original game, this came like in, in the manual. You could see the hand code written. It comes in a digital version now. You can find it online if you Google it. Um, you, you do need it. So it's something that's good to have on hand. I've got it up on one of my side screens here. Long ago, the Druids divided this hand code. By touching the tip or part of each finger, the thumb or the palm, you signify a certain letter. In this way, you can spell out words upon your hand. The letters are branded in my mind. I close my eyes and see them still. I, the spell upon the scroll, has that power. That's why I had to have it. But let us be sure, spell out Robin with the hand code. Okay. Oh, I forgot, the game just does this for you. Keep the scroll safe, so I may study the code again. Nay, only a priestess such as myself can make the letters appear, but you must give it to the queen's spy. The queen has a lady who will teach the hand code to her most trusted knight. It will be that Queen's Knight, who will receive whatever ransom you have when the title, sorry, it will be that Queen's Knight who will receive whatever ransom you have when the time comes. And this Queen's Spy? Soon, the Saturday Fair begins in Nottingham. The Queen's Spy will come disguised as a scholar. Amidst the numerous merchants and vendors from all parts of England, he can mingle more safely. He'll carry a book containing royal coat of arms. May have people mingle freely enough, but you've said not about how I should perform this miracle. I would do it myself, but I'll be too closely watched. If you doubt you can carry out such a difficult task, little vixen, you prick my pride, knowing full well I'll die of shame before I fail you. And how prettily you blush, knowing I've caught you out. I keep forgetting you're not like other men, but truly, if it is too dangerous, I wouldn't ask it of you. The prince will also have spies there. Do you think you could keep me away from Nottingham's largest fair? The archery tournament alone would draw me in, as the sheriff will expect. I can fool the sheriff. Robin, if you do meet me in town, you must act as strangers. I'll take care not to endanger you. Now, how am I to find this queen spy? There could be more than one scholar. Aye, and he'll be testing you as well. When you speak with him, you must ask him to show you the coat of arms of the... In... De common key. Okay, it's written down, we know. He'll open the book and show you coats of arms. You must be sure he shows you the right one. 
When you see the correct coat of arms, give him the hand scroll at once. And after the fair, shall I meet with you here again? Or will you come to my camp and meet my men? Why, I'd like that. I'll come on the night after the fair. I'll watch for you. There's something I wish you to do even before then. What, another task? This is for your own protection. Now that you know the hand code, you must seek out the green man who dwells in the ancient oak. I know the grove and the oak well. You seem most anxious about this. The sheriff has been raising a force of men and threatens to scour the forest clean of outlaws. If you can gain the green man's protection, it could save your life. I'll heed your words and do as you ask. So before we go, there's one more thing to do. Now that we've spoken of spies and danger, perhaps the sight of the stone will bring to mind more pleasant thoughts. Truly, I should go. Marion, will you always run from me? I feel I've caught in the shadow of a dream while the true woman runs like a doe at my nearest touch. I fear to entangle your heart too deeply. It is not Prince John alone who is my enemy. The abbot suspects that I serve the forest powers. If he should find me out, what has this to do with our love? Oh, Robin, already I feel that I would die if anything happened to you. I don't want you to feel the same about me or rush foolishly into danger if I should be caught. Then you're too late, sweet lady. I love you with all my soul. Will you let fear destroy the only moments of sweetness we may ever know? Kiss me, Marion. Take more than one kiss, my beloved. Take all I have to offer. Look out, kids. Little cutscene kiss. Well, what did you expect? A man and a maid deserve some privacy indeed. I like that you get points for that, though. Farewell for now, sweet Robin. May the blessed lady protect you. I'll look for you at the fair. Look only for the queen's man disguised as a scholar. Think of your mission, not of me, for your enemies will be all around you. Farewell. So I just have to say, as a kid, when that first happened, I literally remember my girlfriend and I staring at each other and both being like, Um, we grew up in the South. There's a lot of, you know, weirdness with any kind of physical activity. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very shocking for our young, young little minds. Now it's just kind of adorable. So pick up our stuff. Um, Marion talked about finding the green man and gaining his protection. This is something that um, becomes really important throughout the game. Sometimes the sheriff's men just show up and having the green man's protection can be the difference between getting caught and, and not being caught. Um, sorry, there's a dog there flying around in my face. So yeah, it's super important um, and it's again, all kind of based on the hand code again. So I'm going to do what I did last video where once we get to that point and we have to use the hand code, I'll, I'll throw the hand up there and try to highlight what I'm doing so that you guys can, um, can follow along and, and see for yourself. You can also look it up uh, again online or if you get the game through GOG, it does come as part of that package. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go find the green man and see what we can see. So this is... There we go. Let's grab our little thingy here. I think we have to move a little bit. And I'm really scared because this is always so awkward. Because it you have to throw it like ahead of where it is. Come on. Where are you, my dude? You are. Oh, I missed. Yeah. At last, Pixie, grant my wish. I wish. No wish, Pixie, no wish. What do you mean? You can't grant wishes? Pixie no power, green man big power.
Green man, sleep oak, dream magic, all forest. Say go, pixie take green man. Green man, all wishes. Say go. Very well, go. All good, follow. You can kind of see the yellow for a second. Old man oak, father tree, green man, green man, come and see. There he is. Ooh. I heard my wood child call, so fleshling, you seek me. I am here. Do you rule the forest, green man? I am its heart and soul. My will moves from root to root. My thoughts sow in the leaves. The pixie said you'd grant all wishes. They are acorn imps, foolish and rootless. Wishes are the dream stuff of fleshlings. Mine is the power to grant you the protection of the druid trees. But my protection is not easily earned. My riddles are perilous. Those who fail my test join the forest and are never more clothed in flesh. Dwell upon that before you speak again. Yep. Don't want to be. Go back. I'll risk the peril of your riddles if that is the only way I may earn your protection. That is the only way. Let us begin. What are you? Tongue cleave, speak no more. Legs into wood, toes to root, deep into the earth you dig. Half man, half tree, only the freedom of your hands I leave thee. If you pass my riddles, I will restore you. If you fail, you will become a full oak and never walk as a man again. I will pose the riddle. You must spell out the answer in the druid code. I will begin. Highborn, my touch is gentle. Purest white is my lace. Silent, silent is my kingdom. Green is the color of my death. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, my friends, let's look at this riddle. Highborn, my touch is gentle. Purest white is my lace. Silent, silent is my kingdom. Green is the color of my death. So what comes from high is white, has no sound, and when we see green is dead. Smell. S M O W is where. Aye, that is the word. Two more riddles you must answer. Here is the next. I am the outstretched fingers that seize and hold the wind. Wisdom flows from me in other hands. Upon me are sweet dreams dreamt. My merest touch brings laughter. So what reaches and seizes to hold the wind? Wisdom flows from me in other hands. So something that you can use to impart wisdom. Upon me are sweet dreams dreamt. Hello. My nearest touch brings laughter. So what does that all have in common? A feather. A feather can see the symbol of the wind. A feather pen can impart wisdom from other hands. Uh, pillows are filled with feathers and tickling someone with a feather is a fairly common way to make them laugh, I think. So we've got F. Aye, you are right again. The final riddle is upon you. Green treasures I contain, guarded by hundreds and thousands, stored in a labyrinth where no man walks. Yet men come often to seize my gold. By smoke I am overcome and robbed, then left to build my treasure anew. Sorry, it's golden treasures, not green treasures. I think it's beehive. Be like honeycomb. Yay! 
Yay, I'm a man again. Yay, I'm a llama again. My oath, it's good to feel my toes astride the earth again. Spoken like a true fleshling. Now heed me. From this moment on, my protection is yours. I have laid a spell upon your form in the clothes of your flesh. In this form alone will the trees know you. When the danger is upon you, seek out the heart of the grove of a druid tree. Only within the grove is the magic powerful enough. Spell out the secret name of the druid trees, and they will hide you until the danger is past. But only the true druid name, spelled in code, will serve. I weary of this man's speech. Farewell. So the druid trees is another um, sort of supplement that came with the game. There's like the English name and the, the, the druid name. The code that we used um, in Folk's scroll to open the puzzle box, those were using the druid names of, of the various trees. Um, I'll, I'll throw up the, the druid trees so you can just see it and then when we need it, I'll, I'll bring it up again. Um, and basically, you, you use the hand code with the druid tree's names and Robin turns into one of those trees. So he blends in perfectly with the forest when the sheriff's men come. My men begged me to tell all, but some things I kept to myself. Wink. It was enough to tell them of the dangerous mission I must undertake. I trow, Robin, you look happier than I've seen in many a month. I, with a smile that won't fade and a dreamy look in your eyes. Aha! There can be one cause for such contentment, and her name is Marion. She loves me as truly as I love her. You'll meet her soon and judge her worth for yourselves. What of this task she set for you? I'll worry about that when the fair begins. I must also find a way to enter the tournament and avoid Prince John's spies. No risk is too great for our king. The days to the Saturday fair speed by. Merchants, vendors, and travelers of every description come up from London, down from York on foot, on a horse, mule, in carts, and wagons, or by boat and barge upon the River Trent. We leave Waddling Street alone, having no desire to hinder those going to the fair or stir up trouble with the sheriff until the time is right. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, this has been Conquests of the Longbow, part three. And I think we did some good works today. I, I think we got a lot accomplished. We got protection from uh, the green man. We had our little rendezvous with Marion. We saved uh, the widow's sons and they are now part of our uh, outlaw band, as you can see from the 34. We've gained three. We're about halfway through our score. So that's decent. Um, we opened the puzzle box, so we now have the magic ring of water and the magic ring of fire. We still have our emerald with Marion um, and then all of our other uh, good things. Yeah, I think we're we're well on our way to uh, having a successful end to this campaign. Really, really excited to have you guys with me. Thanks so much for hanging out and I hope to see you in the next one.